Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn more about Elastic Container Service. So, in this lecture, we'll be going through the concept of container orchestration tool and at the same time, learn how containers can be managed using Elastic Container Service. So, let's get started. So, basically, what is a container orchestration tool? Before understanding what is container orchestration, let's try to understand what is a container. A container is a standard unit of software that packages up code and it, all its dependencies so the application runs quickly and reliably from one computing environment to another. So basically, container is a package that packages up code as well as its dependencies to run across different environments. So, container orchestration tool is nothing but a tool which helps us deploy, manage, delete and scale our containers so that we don't have to do all the heavy lifting ourselves. Okay. So, basically it manages our containers. So, we have got different examples right here like Kubernetes, ECS as well as Docker Swarm. In this particular lecture, we'll be considering ECS, okay? So, what is ECS? ECS is a managed container orchestration service that enables fast deployment as well as scaling of containerized workloads. So, basically, it is used to work with containers and we can also manage the deployments along with the scaling part of the containerized workloads. So with ECS, users don't have to configure or manage their own container management as ECS runs and manages containers in a cloud cluster. Now this cluster will be running on our AWS in case of ECS. Okay, so ECS supports two types of implementations that is EC2 launch types as well as AWS Fargate. Now, let's try to understand in the context of AWS, okay? So, the first thing is about image registry. Now, we saw what containers were, right? So, image is nothing but a lightweight standalone executable package of software that includes everything needed to run an application, okay? So, when we execute this particular image, container gets created, okay? So, for storing these kind of images, we have got Amazon ECR in the context of AWS, okay? For management, we have got container orchestration tools like Amazon ECS as well as Amazon EKS. Whereas, where Amazon EKS works with the Kubernetes, okay? And over here, we can see that we have got hostings, which are Fargate as well as Amazon EC2. Now, this above orchestration tools can use either Fargate or uh, Amazon EC2 as their hosting tools, okay? So, Let's move forward to understand them in depth. So basically, Elastic Container Service is in tight integration with other AWS services like ECR. We know that ECR is used for storing images, right? So these images can be pulled using container service and also run so that we can uh, have a good implementation of that particular image. The next thing is about CloudWatch logs, right? So whatever the container logs, these logs can be pushed to the CloudWatch logs so that we can refer it in that way as well. So also it is integrate. it can be integrated with CloudWatch metrics. We can also apply different IAM policies to this particular container service and at the same time we can add load balancers on top of our cluster, right? 
so it can also scale web applications it also scales to support clusters of any size okay and in we can also deploy in hybrid environment we can deploy different containers in a hybrid environment used with the help of elastic container service okay so basically this is the most important part of this particular lecture like elastic container service can be can be implemented using ec2 hosted model or the fargate model right so in ec2 hosted model what we see that we have got clusters of ec2 instances so basically what is a cluster cluster is nothing but collection of multiple nodes and in this case since we are working with aws nodes are our ec2 instance right so what we do in this case is that we create cluster of particular uh, size and name and also we can decide the number of nodes that we require in this particular cluster once they are created these containers run on these particular dedicated nodes that is ec2 instances so in order to manage these instances we need these particular ec agents running on our ec2 instances okay so we can do we can install this particular ecs agents in two ways right so the first way is that we can directly create an ec uh, an ec2 instance with the help of an image which has already got ecs installed on it whereas you can create ec2 instance and then install the ecs agents manually as well so these are the two ways that can be that we can implement so basically with the help of ecs agents we can connect to our elastic container service and accordingly manage our containers so one more important thing that ec2 hosted model is all about os level configuration can be kept in the control of customer and not totally based on aws services right so customer himself can decide the os level configurations and also of course the container management will be done by ecs there is no doubt in that but underlying hardware related things will be can be managed by the customer itself so it gives you more control right as compared to that of fargate so we'll come to fargate also so so within the fargate we don't have to worry about infrastructure why because everything will be managed by aws for us manage it will manage everything at the container level it is very easy to launch and also it is easily scalable and also the pricing is resource based but compared to that of our ec2 hosted model fargate is costlier since everything is managed by aws right and can be used mostly for the short running tasks whereas ec2 model is considered better in case of long running tasks since the cluster is more predictable and also cheaper so we can't say that one model is better than other it all depends upon the use case that you are going to use so that's it for this lecture hope you found the video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel if you found the video helpful and also don't forget to press that bell icon for the latest updates in case you want me to create any of the videos you can 
कमेंट एड बिलो थैंक यू सो मच एंड हैव अ नाइस डे